unboxing. This is the first one that I will have done, you know, without like my kids being there to go, ooh, mom, what's that? Um, but I'm really excited about this. I got my Let's Joy Crate in. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. It's like a literary reader's box. It's super fantastic. I love it. Um, this month's theme, which I'm really excited about, is the Nightwalker theme. I believe is what the theme is, so it's Batman, okay? Last month, it was Forged in Friendship, and we got this really cool book that I think my daughter's going to absolutely love, so that'll be passed off to her later. But this month is part of their DC Comics collection. Their first one was the Wonder Woman crate, and then now this one is the Nightwalker crate. So I'm really excited, so we'll just dive right in. So, and that's the inside of the box. It's super cute. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's definitely a lot of, you know, share the joy and reading things and lots of cuteness. There's unicorns and books. Okay. So next month, it looks like the theme is Upon Her Throne. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then we get this awesome art covered page that tells us everything that is in the box. So it gives us all that details and how it all fits into the book. And the artwork on this stuff is always just gorgeous. So, looks like we've got a candle from the Court of Candles. Let's see if I can see this. It is a double layered candle. Uh, Berga, uh, bergamot, jasmine, patchouli, Dracar Noir with a hint of darkness. Oh, that smells really good. I think I'm going to like that. I think I'm going to like that. Well, maybe this was what was rattling around. I thought something had broken. My box was shaking and rattling. Super excited about this box. This is... Those numbers are so little. It's a crane origami necklace. It symbolizes Bruce's complicated relationship with Madeline. So it's this cute little crane. You see that? Super cute. Then we've got nail polish. It's a fierce black shade of nail polish with a hint of sparkle. It's in this really cool looking bottle too. So it's like, kind of like a, it doesn't look black to me. More like a purple. I'll have to swatch that later. And then in here, it looks like we have, yes we do. It is a keychain and it is a Batman can opener keychain. How cool is that? It's the bat symbol. That is really neat. I know some people that will try and take that from me. I might have to hide it. That is very cool. And it comes in a nice little velvety pouch too to help keep it all safe. And then we have a zippered pouch with the back with the Batman quote on it. Fear clears the mind. And then we have the artwork. I love it when the artwork comes in. It's always so, it's very shiny. Always so nicely done. Check it out, this little thing so you guys can see it. How awesome is that? This is by Arabelle. Um, looks like. Um, it's a Ryzen print. So it could be from both the Court of Thorns and Roses. Courts of Thorn and Roses and Bruce Wayne. It's all, it, it covers all kinds of different literary heroes. I'm trying to get to the book last, you guys. I'm sorry. Then we have... A signal projector pen. Oh, there's a little thingy on it. Okay, so it says Lit Joy Crate on it. Nothing is going to, oh, there we go. Let's try that. 
It says Lidroy Crate on it. And then it, I don't know if you guys can see that. I might have to do this part later in the dark. It projects the bat symbol onto, there we go, look at that. How cool is that? It projects the bat symbol onto objects. That is very cool. Very, very cool. And then we have, let's see, this is a, it says buttons. Maybe there's more than one in here. There is more than one in here. So, okay, so these were definitely what was rattling around in this box. There are these little um, Batman Arkham Asylum buttons. And again, this is all very backwards and I'm very sorry. You can't even see it very well and I apologize. It's just not focusing. So this one says Batman Arkham Asylum Inmate and this one says Rule Breaker. Oh my gosh, and I dropped it. Uh, oh, it's not backwards. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'll have to watch the stuff later. And then of course we have the book. Batman by Marie Lou. So this is the book. Um, there's a signed card that came with it. It says, Hello Defenders of Justice. Batman was the first superhero I knew anything about thanks to Batman, the animated series. I can't believe I now get to contribute to the Batman canon. Writing about an already beloved character was exciting and intimidating, and getting to create my original Bat villain wickedly delightful. I hope you'll love reading about them as much as I enjoyed writing their stories. This beautiful box is chock full of batty goodies. You already knew, know how wonderful Lit Joy is. Let me add that helping the lovely staff put together this box was a highlight of my Batman experience. Enjoy, Marie Lou. Okay, and then on the back it says, blame the virus, not the fever. So I'm sure that has something to play in with the book. And I was told that all of these books were Signed. I could be mistaken, but nope, definitely not mistaken. Every one of the books that came in this crate this month were signed by Marie Lou, which is really kind of cool that they uh, she took the time to sign all of these books. Because uh, can you imagine how many of these things that they send out every month? That is insane. Um, so this is the Batman book, and this is talking about how before he became Batman, he was Bruce Wayne, um, and breaking rules and do 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 Bruce who's so he's 17 in the book so he's young and he's getting ready to inherit everything to Wayne Industry Wayne I'm sorry Wayne Industries he's sentenced to a community service at Arkham Asylum where a brilliant killer resides prisoner Madeline Wallace has ties to the Nightwalkers and she just so happens to be Bruce's only hope can he ever trust her this is very cool. I'm going to really enjoy reading this one. I haven't had a book yet that I haven't enjoyed out of this crate, so I'm really looking forward to sitting down and cracking this one open. I've been waiting just for you guys. That way I could do my first unboxing that I think I probably bought. So shh, we'll just keep that between ourselves. But I'm very excited about this one. Um, cannot wait for next month. Although they had said that next month is very limited quality, quantity, so you really need to, if you want to subscribe, to the uh, Lit Joy Crate community, you must order your next month early or you're not going to get a chance at this one. You'll have to wait till March. Next month's theme is Upon Her Throne. And this is very cool. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will leave a link to Lit Joy Crate down below. Um, so feel free to check them out. This is not, it's not a sponsored post or anything. It's just, this is me enjoying it. I really do love to read. So I just want to share. I want to share with everybody. Um, so that's all I got for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll do this again in a month. Um, be sure to be checking out other things that hopefully I have coming, you know, in my very slow, slow time. Um, but until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.